six shows, 13 seasons, one Turk Barrett. The future of Marvel's Defenders characters may be uncertain, but there is one clear way to experience their past. Created for Netflix originals by Marvel Television, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Defenders, and The Punisher feature different street-level heroes working in New York in the wake of the incident, the term used to describe the events of the Avengers when New York saw rampant devastation. With some of the Defenders characters beginning to show up in MCU projects, many are wondering if watching all the Netflix shows is necessary, and if so, what's the best way to watch? Watch them. Recent comments from Vincent D'Onofrio around the release of Echo on Disney Plus seem to point to the shows being canon, but official confirmation is still outstanding. In any case, the answer as to the best order to watch the entire timeline is simple. It's the release order. So, Daredevil Season 1, Jessica Jones Season 1, Daredevil Season 2, Luke Cage Season 1, Iron Fist Season 1, The Defenders, The Punisher Season 1, Jessica Jones Season 2, Luke Cage Season 2, Iron Fist Season 2, Season 2, Daredevil Season 3, The Punisher Season 2, and Jessica Jones Season 3. While it might seem tempting to watch them out of order, binge the seasons of a particular character, or skip a character, this will have a negative impact on the viewing experience. Each of the shows includes references to the other series, and Rosario Dawson's Claire Temple appears in all but one of the shows. Jessica Jones Season 1 introduces Luke Cage, while Daredevil Season 2 provides the Punisher's story. Some seasons are more easily watched independently than others, but this Defenders watch order is undoubtedly the best. It is worth noting that the Defenders and the related shows are not quite as lighthearted as some other entries into the MCU. Jessica Jones in particular can hit some viewers hard as it deals with trauma in a very visceral way. Daredevil and Kingpin are the first to be officially back and making waves in the street level portion of the MCU. Yet, it would be a shame if the rest of the Defenders don't also get a seat at the table.